growing up in this same area we never really used to see a lot of this it used to be a lot more rustic dirt road business we talk about what um Squad, it's your boy Jay and welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel thanks for stopping by and if you're already a subscriber welcome back now guess what today we're gonna take another to a place called the Stokes Hall Great House and I'm gonna give you some information about this wonderful place come with me now let's take the journey together the Stokes Hall Great House is what we are going in search of today. Now the Stokes Hall Great House is located uh, in the eastern side of St. Thomas, way over there man near Dalvey in the areas of Golden Grove, that vicinity. That Stokes Hall Great House is nestled on the hill hidden away in a small community and that's what we are going to go in search of. Oh, the road that we are on right now as well guys, the road is called Negro Road. Now the reason why they call this road Negro Road is because slave houses used to be on the left and the right side. I'm glad for the Jamaica Heritage Trust though because the roadway that we are walking on now, they relayed the surface a few years ago and um, they, they had acquired the property a few years ago and they relayed the surface so it's a good walking road, a good driving road as well too, to be honest. That can take you all the way up to the great house we never really used to see a lot of this it used to be a lot more rustic dirt road business we talk about what um jamaica heritage trust take over and the place look good the first owner for the stokes or great house was governor luke stokes and he was the governor for a place called nevis i know some of you who know your caribbean very well you know about st kitts and nevis that guys real real country life it used to be a place where we used to run up and down as children uh, even though we didn't know the historical values of the place, we just, you know, used to just have a lot of fun running up and down in that place. And as you can see the size of this tree guys, this tree has been around for hundreds of years. Hundreds of years this tree has been around. And right in your view guys is the Stokes Hall Great House. Former resident of Mr. Luke Stokes who was also the former governor. Guys, one of the important things about the Stokes Hall Great House is the fact that it has an extraordinary view based on how it is situated where at this position you have an opportunity now to see directly into the valley below the great house and that gives the owners of the property an opportunity now to see everything that is happening down in their plant The lower area below this great house was covered in sugarcane considering the fact that Mr. Stokes was a sugarcane plantation owner over there in Nevis. thing that I like also guys is the fact that the great house 
when you are situated at the great house you have the opportunity now to look directly at the at the john crow mountains yeah man so you're looking right now at the john crow mountains right there in the overshot of this video we're looking at the john crow mountains So guys, this is this is a side view of the Stokes Hall Great House. The side view of the Stokes Hall Great House, and this Great House was formerly known as the Stokes Hall Slave House. Now, the reason the reason why they used to call it the Stokes Hall Slave House is because Luke Stokes had brought slaves over from from Nevis from his sugar uh, plantations in Nevis to come here and build this property so this property was built by the hands of the slaves from Nevis that Luke Stokes had actually brought to the island of Jamaica to Eastern St. Thomas or Southeastern St. Thomas as the records show uh, so that they could actually build this property Guys, I must tell you though that the old British construction is still very much present. It's one of the oldest great houses that are in Jamaica and one of the best kept great houses to be honest. Honestly, the, the, this great house, the Sosa great house, is still in amazing shape. The property used to be very secure to protect them from any form of invasion guys. And as you can see, the gun holes are still in very good shape and they are on the building until this present day. Property on the Great House, guys, is a very beautiful property. I can tell you guys that if, say, for instance, you would want to just come chill out one of the days and spread a nice little blanket with your family and, you know, just come and relax, the opportunity is there. It's a beautiful place. Uh, other persons come here from time to time just to relax so if you are looking for somewhere where you could escape this is a beautiful place where you guys could actually do so This place is a very peaceful place, you know, it's very quiet. Where I'm standing now, guys, I believe is the hall of the Great House. I believe I'm in the center of the Great House right now, where the hall would be. So, as you guys can see, it was a very, very large Great House. And uh, let me show you something for a moment, guys. The architecture on the Great House is very 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 significant because they used what we call in jamaica cut stone and it must have been some very skillful architects who worked on this property some men who had extraordinary skill because to hold them cut the stones guys they are neatly lined and if I should go close to the wall, as you can see, they are very flush. So you don't have any pieces projecting out or protruding out. 
very neatly created and organized guys trust me our forefathers were excellent builders to have come up with a structure such as this so guys what i'm looking at right now is the original entrance to get towards the, the great house this would be like a little walkway leading towards the great house so if you look carefully guys you can see that the space is created right here were actual walkways they were actual steps created to go towards the great house have a look guys And they'd walk right here and go all the way over to the property right here. So I believe that we are actually looking at the original front of how the great house was designed. So we are now looking at the front of the great house. The lawn space is absolutely beautiful and breathtaking. If you guys decide to just come and just chill out, you guys can come to the Stoso Great House with your family and just have a wonderful time. So J Squad, I'm just gonna go ahead now and give you some more historical detail about the Stokes Great House. Luke Stokes was an English colonialist who was twice the governor for Nevis before relocating with his family and 1,600 other settlers to Port Morant, an area of Jamaica, following the English conquest of Jamaica. Stokes was governor of Nevis following the death of Thomas Littleton in 1834. However, he was replaced in 1835 by Thomas Sparrow. He was governor once again in 1649. He remained in this position until he led a group of settlers to Port Morant in 1656. This constituted to the first major settlement of Jamaica by English colonists. Luke Stokes invaded the extreme southeast corner of Jamaica and drove out the Spanish in 1965. The Spanish called the area Hato Marante, which means Ranch of Marant. Luke Stokes, along with 1,600 other settlers, were the first Englishmen to settle in Jamaica. He later called the area Stokesfield. The area is a part of the Plantain Garden River and the Negro River Delta and is the most fertile area in Jamaica due to the periodic flooding by the river. The mountains to the north receive approximately 250 inches of rain a year and along with an occasional hurricane cause a large bed of load of soil to spread out over the delta. It is along this river many prosperous sugar estates were established among which were the Stokesall Plantation, the Golden Grove, Duckensfield, Holland, Amityal, Hardly, Hampton Court, Winchester, and Willowfield. To the north of the Stokesall Great House, the Blue Mountains make up the skyline, and to the left of the Great House, the John Crow Mountains is in view. Thank you everybody for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Remember to smash the subscribe button. Also, drop a comment in the comment section to let us know what you think about this video. If you'd love to see videos like this, also remember to hit the notification bell. And as we always say on this channel, Jay says, and we are out of here.